In this movie, we're going to look at how to use a book template to create a brand new publication in Bloom. To create a brand new publication, first select a suitable book template. Basic Book is the most general. Some of the templates have a very specific purpose, for example, this one is only useful for making a wall calendar. We'll learn the basics using Basic Book. To use it, click on the template and then confirm you really want to add a new book based on this template by clicking Make a book using this source. A new empty book is added to your collection and is opened ready for editing. Bloom knows about the basic requirements for any book type of publication, so some special pages come built in. The front cover, the credits page, which includes a space for copyright and licensing, the title page, and back cover pages with space for text. Note that the first two pages and the last two pages are not white. These pages will be printed on the book's cover made of thicker paper such as cardstock. On the special built-in pages, any text areas which have a specific purpose have this indicated for you with a yellow speech bubble. Follow these prompts to enter the information in the designated slots. On any page in Bloom, text areas are shown as a little box which gains a blue border when you click in it. The boxes themselves won't be visible in the printed book, just the text. Bloom knows where else it's conventional to show the title, on the title page. So the title is automatically displayed on the title page as well. You can edit the title here, and it's updated on the other page as well. In Bloom, spaces for pictures are shown with this flower shape. If you don't add a picture, the final book will be blank in this space. The flower is not shown. To add a picture, hover the mouse over the flower. Two buttons appear. The top one allows you to select a saved image. The bottom one to paste in an image which has been copied to your clipboard. We'll use the top one this time. In the dialog that opens, the art of reading is shown selected. This is a library of pictures which can be used in publications. To find a suitable picture in the library, type a key term in the box and click the magnifying glass or press enter to start the search. Pictures which match the key term are shown in the window. Scroll down to see all the possibilities. Clicking on a picture allows you to see it larger and to read its copyright and licensing information. When you've decided which one to use, click on the picture and then click OK. You then see the selected picture inserted onto the page of your book. As you may have noticed, there are other ways to add pictures, which we'll cover in a separate movie. In addition to the built-in pages, the book template includes template pages. It is entirely up to you which template pages you add, how many and what variety. A good layout is provided. This means you can focus all your efforts on adding content, what you are writing and the pictures you select. The difference between the template pages is all to do with picture placement so you need to be thinking about whether you want a picture, and if so, where on the page, as you add the template pages. When you add pages, they are inserted into the core of the book. To add pages, on the right-hand side of the Bloom window, I click on the page I want to add, and the new page is inserted into the book on the left. They are always added after the currently selected page. unless that page is a front or a back page.
you can reorder pages by dragging. You can also delete a page using the Remove Page button. You need to confirm the deletion. To add text to a page you have added, simply type in the box outlined in blue. It has the current language shown in the bottom right. On some pages, the text box expands as you type. On this page, there is a second text area. To type in it, find the language label and click there to activate the text box. At any time when you are creating or editing a book, you can decide to show two or three languages in the book instead of just one. To add another language, click the One Language button at the top of the screen. Select the other language to display. You can now enter text in that language in the labelled text boxes provided. By clicking Collections, you can return to view all the books in this collection. You can see that the new book we've been working on throughout this movie is now listed here. If I want to work on it again another time, I click it and then click Edit this book. In this movie, we've used the basic book template to create a new empty book publication. We added the title and a cover picture. We then added some pages to the book using the template pages. We removed one page and reordered some others. We didn't really write the story, but we did look at how to add text to a couple of pages and how to show more than one language in the book if desired.